Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about how to install Nexus repository on DigitalOcean Cloud using Helm Charts. There are certain prerequisites that are needed, like we need to have kubectl and Helm installed in our local machine in order to talk to the DigitalOcean Cloud and also we need to have DigitalOcean account. We already covered how to create DigitalOcean account and um, how to create a Kubernetes cluster in one of the videos that is exploring managed Kubernetes by DigitalOcean. And if you're interested in learning Jenkins and end pipelines using all the below mentioned tools, you can follow this video as well. So I'm already in my um, DigitalOcean account logged in. So if you want to create a Kubernetes cluster, you need to select Kubernetes from the options over here. And once you are on the Kubernetes cluster creation page, you can click on this create a Kubernetes cluster. And then um, you can select the uh, version and uh, data center reason I'm setting it uh, to the default. I'm not changing anything and coming to the number of worker nodes. I'm selecting three or if you want, you can also select two. Since this is a managed cluster, you will not be able to see the master nodes. That's it. Um, so you don't have to um, do any other configurations here. So this is the cluster name, which is automatically given and um, every cluster um uh, should be associated with a project so by default i have this project created but if you are new to uh, digital ocean so it will ask you to create a project so it is just a project name nothing else so this kubernetes cluster will be associated with this project and this is the overall cost since i have 100 dollar free credit to be used in um, 30 days uh, so um, i'm good to go because um, i have 100 dollars and there are 96 free uh, 96 dollars free credit still available so let's click on create a cluster so the cluster creation will take at least three to four minutes and once the cluster is created you will see the option of downloading the cube config file so our kubernetes cluster is created you can see that three by three nodes are in running state and you also have an option to download the cube config file so let's download this so our cube config file is uh, downloaded. We can also open it and see in VS code. So this is the uh, config file with clusters, context and user details. So what we are going to do is we are going to get some, um, you know, details about this cluster. So let's get the number of pods, but um, our cube config file is in the downloads folder. So what we can do is we can pass the cube config through the command line so we have this config file in the same downloads directory so we can pass this cube config file as the command line argument and you can see that you know we have uh, you know no pods or resources um, in the default namespace so instead of this i can also do one thing so i'll cat the cube config file and then redirect it to my user directory into dot q folder into a file called config so this is going to replace the previously existing config file so you need to make sure that you don't have any actively running clusters and then um, you know uh, any other configuration so otherwise it is going to replace the whole configuration so since this is a demo cluster and i don't have any other uh, cluster uh, clusters so i'm just replacing it now i can simply do kubectl get pods or any other commands so this is going to use that cube config file and uh, if you also see the the storage classes so we have uh, a default storage class so we can also use pvcs um, we can also create pvcs when we try to install a nexus repository and also we uh, have helm install so what we are going to do now is we are going to install nexus repository so for this i'm going to go to artifacthub.io so this is where we can um, find and install helm charts of course you can also refer the official nexus documentation so just uh, click on nexus and if you see these are the different organizations so we need to find the one from official nexus sona type nexus so here this is the nexus repository manager from organization sona type so just click on this now this is about the sonotype nexus repository and in order to install it what we need to do is we need to add this uh, sonotype repository so helm repo add so the name of the repository is sonotype of course you can also use your own name but this is the repository url so what we are going to do is we are going to just 
copy this and paste this in the terminal so this is going to add the nexus rep uh, sonar type repository in my case it is already added so i don't have to add it again and after that i can directly install sonar type nexus chart uh, by using helm install but before that what i need to do is i need to modify some modify some values so for this i'm just going to you know pull the chart first so how do i pull this it is helm pull from this repository this is the chart so i just copy this one and use helm pull and paste that um, repository name followed by the helm chart and since it downloads in tar format so if you use hyphen hyphen untar it will automatically untar also so it is saying system cannot uh, find so let's do one thing let's also do helm repo update first and then try to pull and untar it so it is uh, pulled and untarred so if i try to do ls so i would be able to see it but there, there is some huge list so you can go to the file manager and also check so if i just go to the downloads so it is there nexus repository manager so let's open it in the vs code by right clicking on this and clicking on vs code of course you can also use any of the editors to edit the values.yaml file so just click on this values values.yaml file to make some changes so here what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some storage and also the service type i'll change it to load balancer so stateful set enabled is false by that means it will run as a deployment so this is the nexus image and this is the tag so docker is by default it is um, not enabled of course we'll enable it later and then coming to the nexus photo uh, it runs on 8081 so we're not going to add any pod annotations or probes so let's directly go to the services by default services cluster ip because um, you know if, if there are multiple applications running in the kubernetes cluster we are going to use some ingress controller so in that case all the applications should be exposed internally through cluster ip but since ingress control is not available in our case let's change it to load balancer so automatically it will provision the load balancer from DigitalOcean. and um, coming to the persistence it is true and also if you see size is 8 gb so persistent is already enabled so we're not going to do anything more than this that's it so let's um, you know install this so helm install the name of the uh, release i'm going to give it as nexus in the same default namespace from the folder nexus repository manager that's it so this should install the nexus deployment and also change the um, and also create the service of type load balancer so if i just get the ports and services you can see that one pod it is in the creation state and the nexus service it is load balancer and load balancer in this in the provisioning state and if you want to see whether load balancer is getting provisioned or not let's go back to the digital ocean and click on this networking and from networking we can go to this load balancers you can see that one of the load balancer is getting provision for this service so as soon as this load balancer is provisioned we are going to get the load balancer ip uh, but in the cube still get service so this uh, external ip um, you know will take some time to update with the load balancer ip let's see the status of the pod so it is in the running state but it is not yet started as you see here load balancer is provision and this is the ip address you can also see that in cube still get uh, svc and this is the external ip which is the load balancer ip and also the pod is listening on 8081 so you can change it to different port through the configurations but for now i'm not changing it i'm just using it on 8081 only so if you have to map this ip to a dns you need to fix this 8081 to a different port number so let's also log in so by clicking on sign in and the username is admin and the password can be extracted from this location inside the pod let's copy this one and let's try to exec into the pod so kubectl exec hyphen it 
and let's uh, paste the command first so we have to exec into this pod qstill exec iphone it pod slash the name of the pod double slash or uh, double hyphen cat and the location from where we can fetch so uh, in most of the cases it won't work so what we can do is uh, first we can start the bash process and then inside it we can just cat that password and uh, this is the password so till so you should ignore this bash so just paste the password here click on sign in and let's complete some set of wizard so i'm going to set the password and click on next never so disable anonymous access next finish so that's it uh, so you can sign out and try to sign in again with the new username and password so this is about installing nexus repository on distillation cloud of course this is not uh, you know so production ready so we'll be using this for understanding how jenkins and gitlab ci cd pipelines will work with nexus repository manager thank you and i'll see you in the next one